If you see one of these in a charity shop or car boot sale, do not return home without it, for that will only guarantee that you will kick yourself in the future, because this one simple thing will help you make amazing crusty bloomers like this one, as well as light, soft and fluffy rolls like these with ease. Roll it! Full disclosure is a term invented by YouTubers. I think I got this for a pound. It might have been one pound fifty or possibly even two pounds. Either way, that's pretty cheap. And one pound makes for a better title. Without further ado, here it is. Yes. Is that it? I hear you cry. No, it's not it. Because it comes with a lid. Yeah. This is an enamel roaster. I always see these very, very cheap in secondhand shops, charity shops, car boot sales. And every time I speak about a car boot sale on here, there's always someone saying, mate, what is a car boot sale? Basically in England, we all get in our cars, drive out to a green field and line them all up, open our boots. That's called a trunk for you over in America. And we just sell all our old stuff out of it. I know, <laughs> it's wicked. I'm always picking up stuff I think you could bake bread in. This in particular with the thought that it's basically a lightweight Dutch oven. Which it is! We can bake a loaf of yeasted bread or sourdough in it with the lid on for a little bit for the lovely burst and with the lid off to brown it off really nice. You can get them in different shapes and sizes, small ones over, I say different shapes, it's over or around, let's face it. I'm gonna show you exactly uh, what I did with these. Something to mention is that a Dutch oven is hot and heavy. That's kind of the point, it holds the heat, and we've talked about this loads, it holds the heat. And then so in theory, what you will do, and I know not everybody does it, is preheat a Dutch oven, so that when you drop in your bread dough, whether it's yeasted, or sourdough, it will benefit from the contact with the heat, puffing up nice and big, getting that beautiful burst on top. I feel though that this is actually quite thin. And so if I was to preheat it and then put the dough into it, it would probably suck all the heat back out of the tin and we'd be back to square one. That might sound like a disadvantage, but in fact, it gives us an advantage because if we are not to preheat it, then we can use it as a proving chamber as well as a baking vessel, yeah? That works really well. This is the first example, it's a bloomer, and mine here is yeasted. We can shape it up as per normal, like we did in that video the other day. Line our roaster with parchment paper, drop in our loaf and pop the lid on for it to prove safely away from drafts. Then, after it's puffed, we can remove the lid, score it, and bake it. I bake this one lid on at 220 degrees C, that's 428 degrees Fahrenheit, Google tells me, for 20 minutes. Then here I used a cooling rack to protect my table while I took off the lid and just look at that burst on top. Effortless. Return to the oven, lid off this time for a further 20 minutes to brown off the top and take a look at the result. Golden, crispy, top. Use the corners of the paper to help you in lifting your loaf out of your enamel roaster. And if the base is golden too, you're all done. Nice. This isn't the only thing you can do with it though. After all, I told you, they come in different shapes and different sizes. Didn't I? <laughs> yeah. I scored these two rather handsome round roasters at a charity shop in my local town. A small one and a large one with the traditional navy rim and I used these for some rolls. Exactly the same dough as that bloomer, this time I rolled in small balls, around about 90 to 100 grams each or so. I arranged them in the bottom of my roaster on parchment paper, again spaced out to give them room to puff up together. Pop the lid on and after an hour they'll puff up like this. Give these a nice little dusting too and bake at 200 degrees C, that's 392 degrees Fahrenheit, lid on for 15 minutes. After this time, just look how much they've grown. Look how much they've puffed up. It is in that contained environment that the moisture and steam released from the baking bread is trapped, contained, allowing the roll surface to stay softer for longer. That's an increase in volume far above and beyond if I were to just put those rolls in a tray in that big massive box of an oven. After returning to the oven for a further 15 minutes, here they are in all their glory. They are so light and so soft. Delicious. 
These enamel roasters allow us to prove up our bread in a contained lidded environment. That means no worries from drafts in your kitchen. There's no need to compensate for that by using cling film and stuff like that. Everything is tucked safely away. It streamlines the baking process, eliminating the need to create steam in your oven if that is a sticking point for you. It serves a very similar purpose to a Dutch oven without the need to transport screaming hot and heavy pots and pans around your kitchen, which is a clumsiness, if I'm totally honest. I don't particularly care for all that much. If you see one of these out there in the wild in the back of somebody's car, oh, <laughs> don't take stuff out the back of somebody's car. If you see one of these out there in the wild, battered and bruised by a lifetime of neglect, give it a new home, clean it up all nice, and go bake that bread. See you soon, bye bye.